in the music business, is age just a number? Well, that's a valid question for anyone to ask. For some people, they will say, oh, record labels prefer you as teenagers so they can, you know, take advantage of you. Well, maybe, yes, maybe not. But in spite of that, it's important for you to note that it's very less likely that you're going to get an investor immediately you start your music career if you are in your 30s or your 40s or even your 50s. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it's impossible for you to succeed. You can if you're bringing your funds to the table. That's just a harsh reality. Now, on the other side, if you are a true musician, so you are someone that can play one instrument or the other, or you actually did go to school to study music, so you know the nitty-gritty of sounds, of, or you're good in production, your likelihood of succeeding, even if you're entering the industry late, is higher. What a wonderful world. Thanks to myself. What a wonderful world. Yes, it is higher because your skill is something that a lot of people would need along the line. So you're more likely to make more money for longer time, even without an investor kicking in. But if you're going for the regular popular music, you are a rapper or a singer hoping to blow like David Doe, you really should be going in with your own cash. It's just the harsh reality of the game. So the younger you are, the more likely it is for you to get an investor. 